Welcome back to the show. Hello. Hi there. We've got a beautiful Chinese couple that are visiting America for three weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. Okay. I stand corrected. Two weeks. And uh, they're going right now from Marina Del Rey to downtown Los Angeles yes. in rush hour traffic through Los Angeles. Great experience. They're going to leave tonight or tomorrow for Las Vegas. Yes. First time in Las Vegas? Yes. Right well, there. that'll be an experience for you. <laughs> and um, they are from China and they moved to Auckland, New Zealand to for better air uh, quality for their lives. Because yeah. it's pretty smoggy in China, huh? Yeah. People wear masks all the time, I'm told. Uh, no, that's terrible. It's just like... Um, some big cities. And they yeah, can't, they, they, city they can't like, fix the, the problem. They oh, are yeah. working on it. Okay. They are working on it. But, okay. you know, once you um, have, like, the air and the water has been polluted, it's very difficult right. to yeah, fix. Yeah, it Yeah. a long time. Well, the whole Pacific Ocean is polluted from that Fukushima um, nuclear plant that melted down. So that's terrible. But um, yeah. it's funny how the world is. Uh, we just met. We're total strangers. And you're, mm -hmm. you're living in New Zealand. And a friend of mine, day before yesterday, mm -hmm. took, is taking his sailboat on a cruise. Well, not a cruise. He's moving back to New Zealand. <laughs> so he's going to meet you guys there. I think you're going to beat him there. Because it's going to take him about eight months to get there. Eight months? Yes. Oh, my God. It's a long trip. It's a long trip on a sailboat. A sailboat goes about six miles an hour. Uh, Why it's so slow? Because it's wind power. Because wind. Oh, And sometimes okay. it doesn't go at all if there's no wind. Yeah. Sometimes you just sit there so and it's just wish like there was some wind. So <clears> you can't control the direction. You can't control the, well, you can control the direction. You can't control the wind. Dangerous, it's very dangerous, so you have to have a lot of food uh -huh. in case you get stuck out there without any wind. At any yeah. rate, so we want to talk about Auckland, New Zealand. Um, it's a beautiful, I don't know, I've never been there. I've been to, no, I haven't been to New Zealand at all. So tell me about Auckland. It's, um, oh, actually it's quite similar as uh, Santa Monica, as uh, the weather okay. is quite similar. Okay. It's like, um, not very cold in the winter, not very hot in the summer. Oh. But the season is different. It's opposite. It's like for now and uh, in California it's um, spring, right? Almost summer. Right. But in Auckland it's autumn, almost winter. Okay, because it's opposite. Yeah, it's opposite. Yeah. Okay. So you can have uh, Christmas in summer okay. in Auckland. Yeah. And it's Actually, it's a um, small city compared to the cities in China, like compared to Shanghai, okay. compared to Beijing. But it's a very nice city. So you're from Shanghai? Um, we we were not Houston. born in Shanghai, but we used to live and work in Shanghai before we moved okay. to New Zealand. Yeah. So you've been married seven years? Yes. Yeah. And you met in Shanghai? Uh, no. Uh, we married in another city, yeah, yeah, actually. Okay. <laughs> and you, are you both software engineers? Both? Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we were classmates. You were classmates? Yeah, ah. we met in the university. That's uh, why we... That's how it comes out. Okay. Yay. <laughs> so what, um, what makes a marriage work? A Chinese yeah. marriage work. <laughs> They're all the same. That's complicated. Yeah. First... First of all, it's like um, attraction. Yeah. You have to have attraction first. Okay, yeah, I agree yeah. with that. And then you have to like you can get along with each other. Right. And you have like s similar. No, I I can't say exactly exactly same, but you have to have like similar uh, opinions to things and people and like you know the world right yeah you have okay. to like, yeah have similar opinions okay. and um, in China like actually um many many people like um they marry for I think most of people marry for love 
Okay. Yeah. But, and there's some arranged marriages as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's with the wealthy, you think? More with the wealthy? Not the poor. I, do the poor have arranged marriages? Yes. Really? They do, yes. Because sometimes they don't have choice. I know some like very poor family uh, in China. I'm not sure. Maybe they there are uh, this kind of things all around the world. But I know uh, this, um, for example, like uh, one family, they have one uh, son and one daughter. And another family, they, they are the same. Or they have more than two children, but like they have one son and one daughter. They will exchange. Like my daughter marry with your son. Right. Your daughter marries with my son. Okay. Yeah, they do this. But it's like the, 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 this kind of thing is, is less and less in, in like nowadays because people get richer and they, they, they get more um, choices than the old days. Okay. Know. But I believe they still happen in some like very poor yeah, yeah. error. Yeah. So in the old days, uh, not too, too far away uh, ago, um, they used to just say you can only have one child. And that backfired, that system, right? Because hmm. now there's too many, is it too many males or too many females? What was, what, how did it come out when you can only have one child? Oh, um. Was the Most of the Chinese family, like the old, old generation, they they prefer boys than girls. Okay. Yeah. So in China, it's a big problem that we have more men than women. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, I like, <laughs> so many men they. But now you they, can have two children. Not yet. No. Nowadays. We have two. Yeah. Yeah. But. But you live in Auckland now, so you could have four if you want. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Or more. Or more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very good. No limitation. No but limitation. We, yeah, but now we don't have even one. We don't have any case for now. Well, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of work. You know, I'm a grandfather myself. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a joy having children and raising them. But I uh, can't imagine, you know, the how, many, how many children do you have? Well, I have two. And then my wife has two. So we have four between us oh. and then we have some grandchildren and, um, and uh, it's, it's wonderful you know do you guys live together or the home the big family no 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 no, no. that's yeah that would be nice but uh, <laughs> you know, they live separately all over the country wow. so now we're on the wonderful 10 freeway which is usually a parking lot I decided oh. just to take the freeway anyway it's only 36 minutes so what the hell Okay. Well, I want to thank you for participating in uh, You're welcome. uplifting interviews with total strangers. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you've represented China and New Zealand nicely. And uh, I hope everyone learned a little bit about Auckland and uh, the breathing conditions in China and the, uh, the birth control system in China. But uh, I think I was the only country in the world that limited... The amount of children you get. I don't know any other country. Right? I don't know, but I believe maybe there are some other countries. You think? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's a, it was a pretty tough role. Only yeah. one child. Yeah. So, thank you for participating.